Hi, I'm Sithrith, and today I'm going to explain some important terms and acronyms that you may have come across while playing Lotro. You might see them in skill descriptions, trait tree descriptions, or used by other players. These definitions should help clarify descriptions in-game for you. Tank A tanking class is a class that forces the enemy to attack them so that their group members do not take as much damage. Tank classes are usually heavily armored, use a shield, or have skills that increase their survivability so that they can withstand the sustained damage. Guardians and Wardens are the designated tanking classes, although through trait tree specialization, champions and captains can also be tanks. DPS Damage per second Certain classes are frequently referred to as DPS classes. This means that their main focus is doing lots of damage. Hunters, runekeepers, and champions fall into this category. Support Classes that are referred to as support classes usually utilize buffs, debuffs, or crowd control to help their group mates in fighting. Captains, lore masters, and burglars are the primary support classes, although other classes can use the trait trees to specialize in support as well. Healing classes are a form of support class, since healing provides support to the group. Minstrels and runekeepers are the main healers, but other support classes can specialize for healing in their trait trees. AOE Area of Effect means that a skill or attack affects the area around you rather than just the enemy you have targeted. Keep in mind that enemies can have AoE attacks too. CC Crowd Control Any skills you have that can slow or stop an enemy from attacking. For example, hunters can use traps to trap enemies in place, and runekeepers can use a skill that stuns them for a few seconds. Aggro or Threat it is the amount of attention the enemy gives you and is a key component of tanking. Each group member fighting an enemy has a certain level of aggro or threat for the enemy. Tanks have skills that force their own level of threat higher so that the enemy focuses on them. Dealing high amounts of damage or using healing skills can also increase your threat level. There is no way to measure your aggro or threat level. You have to pay attention to who the monster is attacking to see who has aggro. Buffs some classes have skills that can buff their own skills and their group members' skills. This means that they can make the skills do more damage or heal more or protect themselves more, depending on what the skill and the buff are for. Basically, buffs can make you and your skills more potent. Debuffs The opposite of buffs. Most classes have the ability to debuff their enemy in some way. This means you can make your enemy less effective in some way, whether that means they do less damage to you or take more damage from you. Induction Induction skills are skills that take time to execute. You will see a loading bar or progress bar appear on screen when you use an induction skill. Some traits or items can decrease the induction time of some skills. Enemies can also interrupt your inductions, canceling the skill. Stance Some classes have a set of skills called stances. Stances can change your skills by making them do more damage, making them execute quicker, or give you different kinds of buffs. It's important to carefully read the tooltips for your stances to understand how they may change the way your skills work, since, skin, since stances can operate very differently for each class. DOT Dot Damage over time A skill that does damage over time. Sometimes these skills have tiers where if you use the skill multiple times, the damage over time increases. Cash out Some skills cash out on the dot of other skills. This means it takes away the damage over time and instead does a burst of damage.